Have you been getting calls and texts about couriers being stuck? Beware, because this could well be a trap for the latest digital fraud. It's a well thought out web of deceit, complete with fake cops, fake CBI, ED officers. It starts with a video call from an unknown number. India Today Special Investigation Team's Nitin Jain investigates. Here's part one of Operation Digital Arrest. India Today's Special Investigation Team responds to a call from a courier company. They are told that their parcel is stuck in Mumbai. Please hold on the line. Customer service will be... Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Rohan, I'm talking about National Courier Service. Sir, as I've seen in my system, I've seen that you have a parcel show that was in Mumbai, which was in Beijing, which was in 2014 or 2024. Yes, sir. It was successfully delivered. What do you think about the campaign's parcel? सर मुझे इस बार पार्सल के बारे में कुछ नहीं पता सर। ठीक है सर फॉर योर कार्ड इनफॉरमेशन सर आपका नेम आपकी इडेंटिटी और सर आपका फोन नंबर यूज़ किया गया है इसे भेजने भेजने के लिए। सर आपकी जानकारी के लिए बताना चाहूँगा मुंबई कस्टम डिपार्टमेंट द्वारा हमने एक लीगल नोटिस दी है the caller says that a parcel with our team members' name and details has been seized by the Mumbai Customs Department. Not just that, the caller even proceeds to reveal the details of the package. Sir, I don't know, sir. I've not seen your parcel. The Mumbai Customs has seized it, sir. I've got this information from there, sir. I've got something in your parcel, sir. Yes, sir. It's not your, but sir, you need to complain. You need to not it, then complain the file, sir. Uh, five credit cards, seven passports, 3.5 kg clothes, 400 gram MDMA. What is this, sir? Well, I don't know better, but uh, it's an uh, illegal uh, substance. It's banned in India, sir. Strictly banned in India. Next, the caller tells us that we will be connected to Mumbai police. And we get a WhatsApp call from a man in police uniform. Yes, sir. What are you doing, sir? Yes, what are you doing, sir? Sir, my name is Sir. Someone sent me a parcel, sir. I didn't send a parcel. He said that there is no meaning of MDM. There is no meaning of MDM, sir. There is no meaning of Asif, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, I'm going to go to the whole India. सर कैसे दस किराम भी पाया जाए तो तीन से सात दस की जगह और आप बोल रहे हैं कि ये चार सौ किराम जा रहा है सर मैंने मेरा कोई मतलब नहीं सर सर मैंने किसी को नहीं भेजा सर आपने नहीं भेजा तो कैसे मिसयूज हो रहा आपका एजेंसी कहाँ पे यूज किया अपना एजेंसी सर मैंने कोई यूज नहीं किया सर The policeman is dressed in uniform. Everything looks and seems real. कोई नहीं है सर मिस्टर नितिन सर सर कौन है आपके आजू बाजू में कोई नहीं है सर देखो सर आइए ये देखो सर but then he paints a scary scenario almost threatening us with dire consequences हेलो अगर कोई डेड बॉडी मिलती है और उसके पास आपका जीरो कॉपी होगा तो आप देखिए सर मेरा कोई मतलब नहीं सर मैंने भेजा ही नहीं सर तो मैं कैसे हो जाऊंगा सर देखिए आपका लेना देना है इसलिए आप एक अपना कंप्लेन फाइल करवाइए हाँ सर प्लीज सर अगला एक घंटा बाद सर वेपन डीलिंग कोई डेड बॉडी आपके नाम पे मिलती है तो क्या आप ऐसे ही ऑफिस में बैठे रहेंगे आपके लिए समस्या नहीं बनेगी बड़ी � to record a video statement. Yeah, man, number like this. Yes, sir. SPI. What number, sir? SPI. SP. SPI. Yes. Dash, Chota. Hmm. One, zero. Hmm. 
Next, he asks for Aadhaar details and drops another bombshell. After drug smuggling, a money laundering charge. The alleged cop claims the money laundering case is linked to a big businessman who is under investigation. Details of the case, news clips, even alleged CBI and Supreme Court documents are shared with us. And we are told that the case and the investigation is a national secret. This cop then took our financial details and asked us not to share any details with anyone. Sir. Through the conversation, we were asked not to take any other calls or move around. The day ended with our investigative reporter being told that he will be under surveillance. What happened next? Stay tuned. A report by Nitin Jain of India Today's sir. Special Investigation Team. Mr. Nitin! Sir, sir. What you've seen so far is just part one of this India Today investigation, Operation Digital Arrest. The Prime Minister has been highlighting this issue as well now. We've been working on this investigation for several weeks. Joining us to talk about this, I'm... Uh, joined on the news track at this moment by Ankush Mishra. He is a deputy superintendent of police in the cyber station, a special task force in Dehradun. Uh, I have with me Kanish Gaur. Kanish Gaur has just put out a report on the scale of digital arrest in India. He's the founder of the India Future Foundation. Jitin Jain is one of India's best known uh, cyber security experts. To delve into the psyche of people who may have heard that there is this kind of a scam going on and yet fall prey to it. I'm joined by Nirali Bhatia. She's a cyber psychologist. With me in the studio is Triveni Singh, former superintendent of police of uh, cybercrime. Welcome, Triveni ji. And Richa Mishra is our colleague at the India Today group. She too, like Nitin Jain, fell prey to a similar scam. I want to go across to Ankush Mishra first. Ankush Mishra uh, joins us from Dehradun. Uh, you're currently in the police force, Mr. Mishra, and we're seeing, you know, my mom, just as we were preparing this investigation, fell prey to a digital scam uh, just last night and through the day today we've been dealing with that. Why is it you think that so many people, despite knowing that this may be happening, seem to be falling prey to this scam and what kind of success are you having with trying to help people get their details and get some of this money back? Uh, firstly, thank you so much for having me on this show. Uh, 
and as you rightly pointed there are number of reasons why such things are happening first the foremost reason is the lack of awareness that the government of india and all the central agencies as well as the state police they are working very hard to raise awareness but unfortunately cyber criminals are continuously innovating they are having new ways of cheating for uh, cheating people cheating innocent people secondly in terms of success uh, cases are being registered they are being investigated but the magnitude of the complaints are huge there are a lot of complaints which are being reported and the quantum of money which is being lost it is also big and also the amount of money is being split into different mule accounts that's a big challenge for law enforcement agencies where i'm talking about a particular bank account being split into 10 different bank accounts and then the money trail goes out so from the investigation point of view it's a uh, it's a normal uh, challenge and uh, from the point of awareness is again a challenge that how do we keep updated ourselves so that is why uh, new cr uh, crimes are c coming forward so ankush mishra is this happening from a particular part of the country like this morning uh, the people who were calling my mom were traced to the bengal bihar border so is it happening in certain parts like jamtara came into the news then nu in haryana came into the news is it happening in particular pockets or is it now very widespread and diffused Uh, I will say it's quite widespread and there are two parts to it. The first part, the India part, the domestic cyber criminals, they are basically mules. They are the agents who are getting bank accounts operated, they are supplying SIMs and all. The money, the trail that we have often seen in many of these cases, the digital scams cases, digital arrest cases, uh, the money is going to many of the countries in Southeast Asia like uh, Cambodia, Laos, uh, Thailand. So these are, those are the places which were very badly impacted by COVID, Corona. And after that, those areas, those, those pockets became international hubs for cyber crime. So there are two parts to it. There are certain Indian associates who help them with bank accounts and SIMs. And the masterminds of the people who are operating the whole scam, many of them are located in Southeast Asia. Okay, and what's your most important message to people watching at this time? to ensure that they don't end up falling prey because look at this guy you know you look like a cop but you could also look like some kind of a tv star stroke uh, model but the guy on the screen speaking to nitin looks like this really dangerous villainous police person he kind of might appear more like a police person than you to someone watching yeah, yeah correct so for that, for raising awareness through your all audience, I will, write, I will like to humbly request everybody that if you fall prey to such cyber crimes, to cyber uh, modus operandi, you need to report at uh, National Helpline 1930. Uh, this helpline uh, number is being operated through Indian Cyber Crime Coordination Center, which is a wing of Ministry of Home Affairs. So 1930 is the number where you have to report at the earliest. Secondly, the Department of Telecommunication has come forward with a platform, with a portal called Chakshu platform. There you can report any uh, link, any suspected link, any suspected mobile number, any website. So there are a couple of uh, helplines, 1930 and Chakshu platform, through which if you report such mobile numbers, such links, such social media, applications and such platforms and the details of the fraudulent people who are trying to cheat especially in this digital arrest scam so the government and police would be able to take timely measures and would be able to save others from getting scammed okay we we'll leave it over there Ankush Mishra thank you very much for joining us from the cyber station of the special task force in Uttarakhand. thank, thank you. you sir uh, Richard describe to our viewers what happened to you was it similar to what uh, Nitin went through because that looks like a very dangerous police person. He's speaking with a lot of conviction. Uh, how did you get caught? मुझे जो कॉल आया था वो 5 अक्टूबर को आया था और सैटरडे का दिन था दोपहर में 12 बज के 15 मिनट और वो कॉल नॉर्मली रैंडम फेडेक्स आईवीएर कॉल चला कि कोरियर से आया हुआ है तो मैंने पिक किया मेरा ऑर्डर आना था क्योंकि इधर दो बड़ी सेल आ रखी थी तो मैंने भी ऑर्डर्स कर रखे थे तो मुझे लगा शायद वही उसी में से फेडेक्स का नाम सुनते मैंने उनको बोल दिया मेरा कोई ऑर्डर नहीं है तो ही जस्ट सेट कि अच्छा नहीं नहीं आप एक बार सुन तो लीजिए हमारी बात आपका आधार इसमें है लगा हुआ है तो मैंने कहा मेरा कुरियर में आधार कैसे आप नंबर बता दीजिए उन्होंने मुझे नंबर बताया फिर उन्होंने कॉल ट्रांसफर जस्ट करण वर्मा आते हैं और फिर उसके बाद स्टार्ट हुआ और ये चीजें उन्होंने कन्फर्म करा दिया कि मेरा आधार नंबर वहां पर लिंक है और उसका मिस यूज हुआ है तो जस्ट सिंपल थिंग आपको ये करनी है हम इंटरनेशनल कंपनी है और उसमें कोई चीजें ऐसी है जो नहीं होनी चाहिए आपको मुंबई पुलिस के पास ट्रांसफर कर रहे हैं एक रिकॉर्ड हमें करवा दीजिए बीप के बाद कि आपका लेना देना नहीं है और इसके बाद आप मुंबई पुलिस को सेम आगे बता दीजिए तो ये फ्यूचर के लिए आप सेफ हो जाएंगे
तो सिर्फ उसके लिए मैंने तो मुंबई पुलिस ने आपसे आपने ही बात की करण वर्मा ने फिर कॉल ट्रांसफर किया हाँ। देन एक कंट्रोल रूम जैसी आवाज जो मैंने सिर्फ फिल्मों में शायद सुनी है तो मुझे वो कंट्रोल रूम वर्ड यूज कर एग्जैक्टली exactly तो लगा नहीं कहीं पे कुछ स्कैम चल रहा है नहीं करण वर्मा ने बहुत पोलाइटली बात करी और मुझे लगा कि नहीं शायद मेरा आधार मिस हो गया उन्होंने मुझसे ये भी कहा आपका वॉलेट कभी खोया था मैंने कहा हाँ एक साल पहले खोया था मैंने एफ की थी क्योंकि मेरे उसमें डॉक्यूमेंट्स थे मिस हो जाते हैं कह लेंगे वही मैम शायद आपका तभी मिस हो गया तो मुझे लगा शायद मिस तो हो पुलिस से क्या बातचीत हुई फिर फिर मुंबई पुलिस आती है विनय कुमार चौधरी आते हैं विनय कुमार चौधरी ने मुझे बोला कि आप बताइए क्या है तो मैंने बोला मैंने आपको कॉल नहीं किया ये कॉल फेडेक्स से ट्रांसफर हुआ है और उन्होंने मुझे कहा है कि मैं आपको मेरे उन्होंने बताया कि सामान निकला हुआ है जो मुंबई से जा रहा था बाहर कहीं और उसको सीज किया गया है तो उन्होंने बोला उसमें क्या क्या है मैंने कहा उन्होंने मुझे ऑन पेपर सब लिखवाया प्लीज आप लिख लीजिए और उन्होंने मुझसे वो सारी चीजें बुलवाई कि जैंग शैन करके नाम था ताइवान में भेज रही थी उस ऑर्डर को मेरा आधार था उसमें पूरा एड्रेस था पिन कोड के साथ ताइवान का उसमें चार किलो कपड़े थे और दो पासपोर्ट थे क्रेडिट कार्ड्स थे और उसमें 200 ग्राम एमडीएमए था ये एमडीएमए सुन के मैंने उनसे भी पूछा था कि ये क्या होता है उन्होंने बोला ये ड्रग्स होता है आपको नहीं पता अगर आपके पास ये मात्रा निकल है दो ग्राम तो आपको पंद्रह साल की जेल हो जाएगी तो इसलिए तो आप निकली कैसे आपको पैसे वैसे देने पड़े सर नहीं मुझसे ये दो घंटे चला पूरा प्रोसेस और उन्होंने मुझसे पैसे नहीं मांगे इसमें तो बोला क्या चाहते थे? ये सात दिन चलेगी जांच आपकी आपको हर दो घंटे पे अपनी रिपोर्ट देनी है ये नेशनल सीक्रेट है आपको किसी को नहीं बताना है किसी को आप बताएंगे तो उसको भी जेल होगी और आपको भी पनिशमेंट होगी और आप मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग में है लेकिन एक घंटे बाद उन्होंने मुझे मान लिया था कि मैं क्रिमिनल हूँ मैं ड्रग एडिक्ट हूँ मैं ड्रग रैकेट चला रही हूँ और मैं मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग दो करोड़ की कर चुकी थी कोई पंजापति सैयद है जिन्होंने मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग की है टू करोड़ की और उसमें दो करोड़ मैंने फ्रॉड किए थे और बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा में मेरा अकाउंट है जिसकी पासबुक कॉपी उन्होंने मुझे भेज दी व्हाट आई फाइंड डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड निराली भाटिया दिस इज हैपनिंग टू अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल क्वाइट फ्यू ऑफ हुम आर स्मार्ट शार्प वेल रेड आर्टिकुलेट वेल अवेयर पीपल सो दे नो दैट दीज थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग एंड येट समहाउ व्हेन इट हैपेंस टू देम यू नो इट हिट्स देम लाइक अ बुलेट एंड दे डोंट नो व्हाट टू डू विद इट एंड दे फॉल प्रे टू दिस डिस्क्राइब मेंटली व्हाट यू थिंक इज गोइंग ऑन so uh thank you rahul for having me on the show uh yes it is definitely a lot of psychological impact and the trigger so there are um, certain triggers that are induced during this particular scam so primarily there is also an authority bias the moment we see somebody in a uniform or somebody uh in a you know uh, uh let's say legal position or something automatically there is a bias that triggers an arch which is about कंप्लाइन सो हमें ये लगने लगता है कि यस अगर पुलिस प्रोफेशनल बोल रहे हैं एंड दे गिविंग सो मच ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टू वैलिडेट दैट यस इट इज मी ओनली दे गॉट द राइट पर्सन आफ्टर दैट आर बायस सेट्स इन एंड वी विल स्टार्ट कंप्लाइन डिस्पाइट ऑफ ऑल द इंटेलिजेंस वी मे हैव वी मे इवन हैव द अवेयरनेस दैट नो दिस काइंड ऑफ स्कैम इज गोइंग ऑन बट इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू कंट्रोल आर बायस ऑल्सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट that now we are into a legal mess it starts inducing fear see the, it is most of our uh, you know legal uh, provisions are run on fear we still have cases people who challenge that particular fear but otherwise common man who are law abiding citizens legality is do bring in fear so it is also out of fear that we keep complying we keep complying and overall because this is all happening online so somewhere we also tend to believe that i may not have 100% know how how many common people whether they are literate whether they are uh, well positioned in their profession etc are aware of all the legal formalities all the legal procedures none of us are completely aware unless we have first hand experiences so because of that we are confused so in our head see in our, we all have in our head a flight and fight mechanism when we sense danger but now this is happening online so normal triggers or normal signs that go to the brain when we see danger for example if we see fire our brain immediately gets a message this is danger fire fly you know like so you we hit the flight mode in online world there's so much of confusion created because of uh, this kind of fear and lack of awareness lack of proper knowledge of legalities etc that this whole mess is created between should i fight or should i fly and in between it's the biases which make us comply that is the reason there is a lot of cognitive fog we get confused we get into the panic mode there is embarrassment there is shame that is indulged by their words 
and the kind of narration that they give to any common person who is a very law abiding citizen this comes as a huge shock value and hence irrespective of us being knowledgeable us being in a powerful position also at times go through this panic created by the fear and end up complying because of the bias jitin jain what's your advice to people watching at this time what can or should they do you know which is fact the last time we met with you aapne bola sab google se hata do don't have any access to any app etc now that at that time it was a very real danger may seem like the logical thing to do but usually you revert back to normal because people do have digital lives and they like convenience and that can be dangerous you realize that but till the time you get trapped you feel okay let's just get on with it what can people do to ensure they don't fall prey to these kind of digital arrests now two things are happening you know people like us never bothered when we started giving our mobile numbers and email ids to restaurants shopping portals malls here and there because we always thought yaar sabse kya hoga theek hai bhai spam messages aa jayenge we never bothered to give photocopies of our aadhar card for getting every connection for any sort of kyc we never bothered to give extra photos when we wanted to give uh, you know we gave our family details to participate in lucky draws and lotteries now what has happened over the period of 7 8 years uh, by combining several leaked databases of different e-commerce companies then you know stolen databases of your kyc ids photos here and there people are able to weave a, a, a basic picture about you about your age profile your gender your uh, your cities your mobile number communication addresses and combined with that if they are able to identify you on social media like instagram and facebook they know whether you are traveling what is your i mean if you have opened a new box what sort of likes and dislikes you have so once you have a generic profile of a person it's very easy to launch a psychological attack you know and then they call you that oh your son is studying in us he is caught in a drug scandal or you ordered a courier and everybody orders something on diwali and there are drugs in your courier and you are under arrest and you have to report every half an hour you should not call up anyone so they are trying to manipulate your psyche by selling fear by threatening that your public reputation might be harmed any act to seek help or cross verify or cross check might result in a physical arrest so i mean there cannot be any other option but to give mass awareness to deal with this problem now second is a technological challenge earlier people would put fake photos of police officers dcps and extort people in extortion scam then we saw this you know the emergence of deep fake videos where people were uh, trying to uh, spoof a video of a you know police commissioner of a lucknow city or a mumbai police commissioner and and sooner or later once you spread aware of awareness about defects you could you had some sort of this thing about people that they'll ask them to get a walk to cross verify that video now worse what is happening they've also realized that ab to khule mein karo so people are wearing actually wearing fake uniform sitting in a call center running the show it's not even a spoof video or a fake or defect video it is a real person uh, you know uh, wearing a fake uniform treveni ji acting badi achhi karte hai it was almost like they built to some no i got a call from fedex in the morning Okay. and i looped him in and later on he threatened me agar aapne nahi kiya to rangers aapke ghar pe aa jayenge now india doesn't have rangers rangers are only in pakistan so it's is everywhere you know in villages in india pakistan everywhere it is running now i think what we can do the only solution to this entire mess today is a regulatory response and that could be in the form that this is all done with the intention to defraud people and extract you know extort money now for money you need two things a you need a mobile number to communicate be it by whatsapp or some uh, normal call and you need a bank account now our kyc system rahul we have discussed many times in your show that this is one of the largest banking democracies now we have onboarded 600 million people in jandhan accounts right and we must go for a biometric enabled kyc now if you don't do that then this business of mule accounts stolen accounts and scammy accounts will continue and once you, the money is gone then they sub distribute it into 100 different accounts then they remix it again and the, by the time you even call a 1930 or call the fia the money is gone and second how are you able to still opt in fraudulent sims how does after you break a sim or deactivate a sim the whatsapp still continues now that's the problem a regulator can solve along with whatsapp unless you fix your kyc your mobile phones and this banking system by merely throwing blame on people and then seeking more awareness will not help that's an important point three many uh, things up you know these are good actors it's almost as if they've been to some professional school ka aise dhamka raha hai dara raha hai actual police wale bhi is tarah se itni acting nahi kar pate jitna wo darane ki koshish kar raha hai why do you think people don't catch on to this like the psychologist said if you see a fire you know you need to run yahan it's almost as if people fall into some kind of a trance and uh, good sense just leaves them for those hours 
देखिए छः सात दिन पहले यू पी ने एक जगह रेड किया था उस टीम से हमारी बात हुई थी तो जिस जगह पर उन्होंने रेड किया वहाँ एक कॉर्नर में सी का दफ्तर बना हुआ है एक कॉर्नर में ई बना हुआ है यूनिफॉर्म रखे हुए हैं बेल्ट रखे हुए हैं स्टार्स रखे हुए हैं सब कुछ रखा हुआ है अब लोगों को एक्टिंग करनी है ये इन्फॉर्मेशन देखिए ढेर सारे टूल्स हैं जिससे सिर्फ आपके नंबर से हमको ये जानकारी हो जाएगी कि आप क्या फेडेक्स कुरियर किए हैं कि नहीं क्या आप अमेजन पे ट्रेडिंग किए कोई चीज़ परचेज किए हैं कि नहीं क्या स्विगी जोमेटो पे आप कोई चीज़ परचेज करते हैं कि ढेर सारे टूल्स हैं सिर्फ मोबाइल नंबर से आपकी मेल आई आपके एड्रेस लोकेशन आपके सोशल मीडिया की पूरी प्रोफाइल सामने आ जाती है विद इन टू मिनट्स थ्री मिनट्स तो क्रिमिनल्स भी वही सोशल मीडिया के टूल्स यूज कर रहे हैं आपका नंबर कहीं से मैनेज कर लिया आपकी प्रोफाइल सोशल मीडिया पर रीड करते रहते हैं और उसके बाद शुरू हो जाता है कि ये फेडेस कुरियर मिला है जिसमें ड्रग्स मिले हुए हैं या आप चाइल्ड पोनोग्राफी देख रहे थे जो कि हीनियस क्राइम है और उसमें ये अलर्ट आया है पुलिस की तरफ से लोग सोचते हैं कि पोनोग्राफी या कोई इस तरह की कोई ऑप्शीन चीज़ हम देख रहे हैं वो हो सकता है डिटेक्ट हो गया हो पुलिस ने डिटेक्ट हो तो ये जो फियर फैक्टर है जो आदमी के दिमाग में एक दहशत है ईडी का सीबीआई का पुलिस का उसी का मिस यूज करके क्रिमिनल आपको तरह तरह के जो सोशल इंजीनियरिंग ट्रिक्स यूज करते हैं और डरा के और आप आपसे आपका अकाउंट का टेक ओवर करते हैं लेम, 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 शो यू पार्ट टू ऑफ आवर ओन इन्वेस्टिगेशन फेक कॉप कम्प्लीट विद यूनिफॉर्म बैज एंड लुक्स लाइक पुलिस स्टेशन ऑन वीडियो कॉल There was an elaborate trap that had been set up. Our investigative reporter Nitin Jain was now under what's called a digital arrest. He was asked to be alone, not to answer any calls, and not to inform anyone about what was happening to him. But that was just the tip of the iceberg. Watch part two of this India Today special investigation, Operation Digital Arrest. An alleged cop on video call with access to all personal details, charges of drug smuggling and money laundering, threats of jail time. This is how the web was spun. The next day, the plot thickened. We were asked to undergo a purity test. Next, another officer came into the picture and sent an ED warrant complete with the reporter's picture. आपको मैंने आपके warrants भेजा एक बार इस recorded line पे read out करी. Directorate of Enforcement. एक्सचेंज मैनेजमेंट एक्ट फेमा और ये कह रहा है इशूंग अथॉरिटी इशूंग यूनिट सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेंट्रल ब्यूरो ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन सस्पेक्ट मिस्टर नितिन जैन सर मैं मेरा तो कोई लेना देना ही नहीं सर टू डेज ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन and now for the clincher a document in the name of the supreme court of india complete with fake signature of the chief justice the document sought a guarantee of 10 lakh rupees bilkul aap the government of india the supreme court ko aapne eligibility di nahi hogi ki aap kahi is case se bhagenge nahi aap officer ke sath mere sath aur ajay ke sath jude rahenge sir theek hai na financial department ki ek female mai aapke liye hire karunga theek hai na वो आपको बताएंगी किस तरीके से आपने डिपॉजिट करवाना वो सुप्रीम कोर्ट के अकाउंट में और क्या प्रोसीजर होगा नेक्स्ट वी टॉक टू अ वुमन एंड दिस वुमन सेंड्स अस दी अकाउंट डिटेल्स यस मैम यस मैम डिपार्टमेंट वॉट How do I pay, ma'am? Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll pay online, ma'am. Online through the ICICI app or uh, any net banking app. ICICI, ma'am. आप मुझे you just give me your uh, account details and I'll save it okay. into it and I'll then transfer the desired money. Hello. Yes, I'm with you. Uh, ma'am, आप मुझे WhatsApp करेंगे details या बताएंगे मैं लिखूँगा उनको. Uh, right, right, right. Over 30 hours of digital arrest, 
fake police officers, fake ED officer, fake warrants, fake documents in the name of the Supreme Court of India, all orchestrated to entrap unsuspecting citizens and extort money. With Nitin Jain, this is India Today's special investigation team. Kanish Gaur is at the India Future Foundation. I was reading the report that your team has put out. It seems this is not just limited to isolated cases. Kanish, this now seems to be happening at a staggering industrial scale of scams. Yes, Rahul. Uh, more than 50,000 Indians have been missing, according to Ministry of Home Affairs, in Southeast Asia. So what is happening today is that these people go out to Thailand on a tourist visa and from Thailand they travel to countries like Cambodia and to Laos where they become part of organized cyber criminal gangs and now are doing these digital arrests, calling out people. So you would see massive level of scam being done and it's very difficult to control them today because they, they are being supported by groups whose job is to turn this back money into which is collected uh, from various bank accounts gets converted into cryptocurrencies and becomes a part of the white income of various groups which were earlier running casinos in uh, in Southeast Asia. So a lot of these casinos uh, got shut down during COVID. So these have found new methods of uh, making money by doing cyber frauds. And this is a major issue. They get people from Indo India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Pakistan to come here and they, you can easily get recruited through Facebook. You all need to do is search for jobs in Cambodia. You will find tremendous amount of jobs on Telegram and on Facebook, which you can become a part of. And they will take away your passport and pay these people $1,500 to $2,000 per month, give them food of their choice and give them compound. They also say that we have HR to support you. We'll make you work. We'll also allow you to move out of the compound. So anyone who is not getting a job or is looking out for a job is now becoming a victim of some of these uh, organized cyber criminal gangs which are operating not just within India but from Southeast Asia and are targeting the masses today. N Nirali Bhatia, when we spoke so that, first, that's, that's, you that's spoke of the story. psyche of the smart individual who otherwise is very digitally savvy but falls prey to this kind of a digital arrest scam. What is your counsel? How? What is your advice to those watching at this time? What should they potentially do, keep in mind? What are the red flags that should go off to ensure that if they see a, if, if, if they see a situation, they know that this could be a trap and they don't fall into it? So uh, at this moment, awareness is our biggest key to prevention and to our safety book. Being aware, and I think uh, government channels like yours, all of us are really, really talking about this, and it is something that is really important. Uh, a previous speaker also mentioned about, you know, uh, where people are getting trafficked. So cyber slavery is also connected to this same particular crime. So it's not just one, all of them are linked. So being aware on regular cyber crimes is important. Secondly, what they can always remember is in an online world, we need to practice zero trust. See, most of the hackers, criminals, they act on urgency. They create that kind of urgency that you have to do it now, and otherwise they'll show you a bigger consequence. Just take that pause. Hold on. They are any which way away from the screen. I mean, they are not in person with you that there's a physical harm. Patience. Don't panic. Don't trust. Do your lot of due diligence. Like if you're applying for jobs, you need to do double or three times the due diligence what you would do otherwise. Don't get carried away in that greed or lure. So it is it is actually our vulnerabilities that these hackers are exploiting and that's how they are targeting. It's not even just random now. They do a lot of homework. Some of them also, you know, use social engineering to befriend you first. They give you certain kind of offers and, uh, and then it leads to these kind of crimes. Richa, you how know? did your so body you end? To, you say you were in this situation for about two odd hours. How did how did you get out of it? Uh, get out of it. Actually, tha ki jab unhone mujhe do ghante rakha, unhone khud bola ki aap call rakh dijiye. Seven days ye aapki jaan chalegi. Money laundering, drug racket, aur unki jo voice thi, bahut torture karte hain wo aapko. 
वो लाइटली बात नहीं करते इवन एब्यूजिंग लैंग्वेज पे आ जाते हैं वो और वो टॉर्चर इतना था कि मैं रो रही थी और वीडियो कॉल पे हाँ मैं वीडियो कॉल पे अपना चेहरा छोटा सा आपको अपना भी दिखता है मैं खुद को देख रही हूँ मेरे आंसू गिर रहे लेकिन आंसू गिरते हो आप पहुंचते हो लेकिन वो एक हिप्नोटाइज जैसी सिचुएशन है कि मैं फोन इधर से इधर भी नहीं कर रही थी क्यों वो आप नहीं कर रहे होते तीनों विक्टिम के साथ जो एग्जैक्टली जैसे इनके साथ हुआ वो लोग इतना डर जाते हैं कि उनकी हिम्मत ये नहीं होती कि फोन को इधर से उधर कर दे वो इतना उनको सी बी आई के नाम पे ईडी के नाम पे इतना डरा दिया जाता है और उनको ये लगता है कि सचमुच में वो एक्टिव हूँ सचमुच में मेरे खिलाफ वारंट है सीबीआई बीच में है ईडी है सुप्रीम कोर्ट का ऑर्डर दिखाते हैं अरेस्ट वारंट दिखाते हैं एग्जैक्टली exactly वैसे ही जैसे अरेस्ट वारंट आप देखते हैं तो आदमी इतना डर जाता है कि हिम्मत नहीं होती उसकी हिलने की तीन तीन विक्टिम से मेरा खुद का इंटरेक्शन है वो लोग रो करके इतनी हिम्मत नहीं थी कि घर में किसी को आने नहीं देते थे वो किसी को घुसने नहीं देते थे उसके सामने बैठे रहते चपली डर के ये इस तरह की स्थिति पैदा कर मेरा भी उन्होंने पूरा रूम बंद करवाया पहले बोला 360 डिग्री में अपना घर दिखाइए मैंने उन्हें दिखाया है फिर बोला एक डोर खुला हुआ है तो मैंने कहा सर वो मेन डोर बंद है जस्ट वुडन डोर खुला है नहीं वो भी बंद करिए रोशनी आ रही है तो जस्ट मैंने कहा ठीक है कर्टन भी बंद कर दो तो कर्टन जस्ट मैंने नहीं नहीं कम्प्लीट कर्टन बंद करिए वो भी मैंने कहा सर ओके मैं जस्ट लाइक अ पपेट सब करती जा रही थी और वो मुझसे सब करा रहे थे और फिर उन्होंने बोला लास्ट की हर दो घंटे पे रिपोर्ट देना निराली भाटिया दिस स्टोरी दैट रिचा नरेट्स यू नो दिस हिप्नोसिस दैट सीम्स टू हैव ओवरकम हर ट्राई एंड डीकोड दैट फ्रॉम अ साइकोलॉजिकल परस्पेक्टिव इट इज इट इज द हिप्नोसिस क्रिएटेड आउट ऑफ फियर लाइक माय प्रीवियस स्पीकर आल्सो मेंशन he it is the the way the fear is induced and it is in multiple formats it's not just in forms of consequence ki bhai aapke naam ka fir hai ya arrest hone wala hai ya ye arrest hai not just that it is also in terms of shame it's also in terms of abuse so it is reinforced over and over and over and over again so it is out of fear that we are unable to move or think even logically or practically forget uh, practically and logically thinking itself goes for a toss because you don't want to take any chance you're just waiting and, and and it's also the isolation the moment we isolate somebody the fear amplifies and that is what they play on agar aapko bole ki ghar mein baaki logon ko rehne do to fir bhi thodi bahut ummeed rehti hai ki hum himmat dikhayenge but if you isolate a person and that's why they isolate you that then your fear is amplified and because of that you feel like you're stuck over here aap nahi hil paoge you might be an it professional but you won't even be you know clear on oh how do i exit this or how do i end this you will be just dumb in a way dumb doll and you know following the instructions so for 120 crore rupees have been lost to digital arrest scams go. between january and april this year in his man ki baat address the prime minister cautioned against this latest scam he clarified that no investigating agency ever makes video calls he also asked people to stay calm and not to reveal personal details to anyone textile baron sp oswal chairman of the vardhaman group swindled of 7 crores by fraudsters impersonating the central bureau of investigation officers the accused also staged a fake court hearing to add authenticity to their claims oswal was only the latest high profile victim of the digital arrest scam the home ministry cyber crime coordination center says that indians lost 120 crores in digital arrest frauds from january to april this year कुल आप ये देखेंगे कि इस पे ये एक पुलिस ऑफिसर मुझे अलग अलग तरीके से धमकाने की कोशिश कर रहा है कि आपके नंबर से मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग हुआ है आपका नंबर जो है एक मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग केस में कोई सुरेश प्रभु करके है उसके केस के अंदर आया हुआ है 20 करोड़ रुपए आपने अपना अकाउंट किसी को दिया है पर्सनल आई किसी को शेयर करिए ताकि आप पैसा कमा सको फिर उन्होंने अलग अलग तरीके से मुझसे मेरा अकाउंट नंबर मांगा और अकाउंट नंबर में कितना पैसा है आप कितना कमाते हो ये सब कुछ जाना आपकी उससे अब प्रोफाइलिंग की उन्होंने कि कितना पैसा वो ट्रांसफर कर सकते हैं आपको जब डिजिटल रेस्ट करते हैं तो एक ऐसा आपको डरा के और एक ऐसा 
कुछ लोग पुलिस के रूप में आ जाएंगे और आपको लगने लगेगा कि ये चीज़ें हो रही हैं पब्लिक को भी हम लोग एजुकेट लगातार कर रहे हैं कि सीबीआई का कोई अधिकारी वर्दी पहन के नहीं रहता है या जो स्पेशल सेल के लोग रहते हैं वो कहीं भी वर्दी में नहीं दिखते वर्दी केवल जो सिविल पुलिस है जिसको लॉ एंड ऑर्डर ड्यूटी के लिए फील्ड में जाना पड़ता है उसके द्वारा धारण किया जाता है Apart from digital arrest, lakhs of unsuspecting people are falling prey to trading scam, investment scam, and dating scam. This alarming surge has prompted the Prime Minister to call for vigilance against online frauds. You should know that no one from the search agency, phone call, or video call can never ask this kind of question. The Prime Minister also warned about the scaremongering tactic of digital arrests. Digital arrests के शिकार होने वालों में हर वर्ग, हर उम्र के लोग हैं। लोगों ने डर की वजह से अपनी मेहनत से कमाए हुए लाखों रुपये घमा दिए हैं। फोन करने वाले कभी पुलिस, कभी सीबीआई, कभी नारकोटिक्स, कभी आरबीआई ऐसे भांति भांति के लेबल लगाकर बनावटी अधिकारी बनकर बात करते हैं और बड़े कॉन्फिडेंस के साथ करते हैं ये खतरनाक खेल क्या है आपको भी समझना बहुत जरूरी है औरों को भी समझाना उतना ही आवश्यक है इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट टू नोट दैट इंडियन लॉ डज नॉट ऑथोराइज डिजिटल और वीडियो कॉल अरेस्ट एनी सच कॉल इज अम बिवेर With Arvind Oja and Himanshu Mishra in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. Trying to build awareness is the first step, which is what we're trying to do uh, through this broadcast. The Prime Minister also used the platform he had of Monkey Bar to try and amplify uh, this message. But Jitin Jain, beyond that, what can be done? You know, the fact that I was just chatting with my mom and she said she didn't have double factor authentication on, so they're very Uh, important measures that consumers can take to ensure that god forbid if they were if they were to fall prey to a scam at least the basic guardrails are there to ensure that money doesn't leave their account everything else is in irritation people get messages that you're in trouble give me 30 40000 rupees all that is there but what are the basic guardrails you think uh, consumers and abhi should try and put up rahul the best and the most easiest solution is that we must put Transaction limit to our bank accounts and credit cards. Maybe three thousand rupees, four thousand rupees. Almost every bank now gives you that on-app feature that you can restrict the interest. No, but if you put that card, small a transaction that. limit, then you yourself, when you're trying to make a credit card now, transaction, second, it'll second. get it'll get uh, declined. Yeah. Now second, no, no, you can increase it in real time within one second. So that's that's the best way not to. Sir, as a call, आप भी कुछ practical बोलो ना वाह one second. You put a five thousand rupee transaction, then you are trying to make a seven thousand rupee transaction. Your five thousand transaction will get declined. No, no, so those are real problems. Rahul, दस हजार कर लीजिए. Not every day we spend ten thousand in every transaction. You could do to, but एक साथ पांच लाख रुपए transfer नहीं होंगे. Now very important. You know this whole cycle is what we are discussing on digital arrest. Why they are isolating you? Why they don't want anyone to seek help? And why it takes more than twenty four hours for digital arrest? They could scam within five ten minutes. The reason is that they want you to add a new beneficiary in your bank account, and that takes sometimes seven hours to twenty-four hours, depending on different banks. And that is why they are forced to somehow trick you to stay online in 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 front of them without seeking help for twenty-four hours. Now that gives you a golden window to banks to use AI-based solutions to ensure that a new beneficiary, if it is added to your bank account, and if there is a you know a, 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 you know a, a transaction which is not routine, the amount is being transferred. They must call up and verify. They must call up and seek help. you know no and third so this this is you could use technology at population scale to fight this problem because this golden window of 7 to 24 hours is available with banks because no fraudsters can call you up and say ki abhi mere account mein paisa transfer kar do you don't have a beneficiary added it takes 7 hours to 24 hours to get it activated and then in the first 7 hours there is only 50000 rupees can your suggestions so there is a window available if there is a will there is a way and But third i think rahul aapne 130 cr ka figure dikhaya 130 cr in trading scam this scam Seven seven hundred crores are gone, not in cash, not in some four twenty scheme. They are gone through banks. There is a digital footprint available. And tell me how much is recovered? Almost not even two percent. So that shows that our banking system is collapsing because of the lack of stringent KYC, and that is the root cause of this entire mess. These people are able to exploit. Kanish, your active suggestions, advice to viewers to ensure they don't fall prey to these scams. 
I think first thing what they should immediately see first and foremost, police will never seek money from you online. Uh, so if someone is calling you, they are calling to isolate you, right? So never transfer money to a police person online. You could always look at methods uh, of going to a police thana. The second part is uh, if you have set up UPI payment, so you will have to limit how much money you can transfer at once. So it is not just that you have to wait for bank accounts to be added. They are also taking money primarily through uh, your UPI. So you add someone and you can easily transfer 1 lakh rupees. So what you need to do is you need to wait, you need to verify. Uh, there are helplines which the government has set up, 1930. If somebody is calling you, reach out to the 1930 helpline or go to the locus, local police station. So the hurry which is created in terms of making the payments, one needs to be aware to ensure that uh, you don't transfer the money ASAP. That is something which is needed right now. Uh, the other part, uh, like which Jitain added, when you have to add someone, it takes time for you to add someone. So try and see, you can talk to people. Uh, the biggest issue is they isolate you. So if you talk to someone, your parents uh, or any member, they will let you know. So the, uh, it's the key thing in digital arrest, right? So I think those are some of the key things which must play an important role uh, today where people, either they talk to family members or call up the 1930 helpline or talk to a cyber expert who can let you know what this is all about. Yesterday, I was in touch with a doctor, a, do a doctor who paid 30,000 rupees on digital arrest and he was taken to uh, Skype. So a lot of these people are taken to Skype so that the identity remains anonymous. From WhatsApp, he was taken to Skype. So he didn't even have the Skype app installed on his phone. And as soon as he transferred the money, everybody just deleted the WhatsApp messages and the Skype ID also got blocked. So what is also required is law enforcement cooperation in terms of ensuring some of these accounts are blocked. The third thing which we noticed was the bank account was set up in India. The bank account was set up in India in a private company's name. Uh, so a lot of these bank accounts are set up to ensure that the money moves from multiple accounts. So this was set up in a company's name in South, in Northeast of India. So law enforcement will have to look at mechanisms to block some of these accounts okay. if somebody is complaining. Uh, so that's that's another aspect where work needs to happen forward. So and from a law, uh, India standpoint, we need a central agency which can look at cyber crime holistically because cyber still remains a state subject. It is not just uh, you know a national issue; it goes to the state. So it's very difficult for different state police to coordinate. So a cyber criminal might be sitting in different part of the country, and it very becomes for solving crime. So it's like CBI, ED. We also need a national cyber agency which can work across different states for tracking, monitoring cybercrime, not only from a response standpoint, but also from an enforcement standpoint. So I think we've covered some important ground in this conversation. You know, our investigative reports highlighting how this scam actually happens and the guests narrating their own experiences, sharing their expertise on what you can do to ensure that you don't fall prey to this digital arrest scam. Are you okay now, Richard? Have you recovered from this trauma? Are you still feeling... Traumatized. I hope the hypnosis is over now. Hypnosis is over, but uh, sometimes I feel someone uh, chasing, someone stalking. Or, uh, I have been talking about cyber. I have been talking about cyber crime. I have been talking about cyber crime. And the uh, first 24 hours, the website opened. The second day, I have been talking about it. And I have been talking about it. We have been talking about it. We have been talking about it. मैंने रिटर्न में 1500 वर्ड्स के ऑप्शन है आपके पास मैंने उसमें लिखे कि समबडी थ्रेटनिंग मी एंड आई एम इंडर टुडे ग्रुप स्पेशली मीडिया मेंशन किया कि शायद मेरी शिकायत जल्दी सुनी जाए बट आज 15 टू 20 डेज पास सिंगल कॉल नहीं आया सेक्टर समथिंग उन्होंने कॉल मेरा कंप्लेन ट्रांसफर कर दिया so just, mujhe you know, that's interesting you mentioned it because we tried to call 1930 this morning as well and nothing happened. I mean, we couldn't get through, couldn't speak to anyone, which uh, is a very big problem. So, the start to do it, then it doesn't work. Now, you don't have to do it, but you have to do it. I'm scared that I'm going to go after this. I went out, I left, but now I'm going to go. Who will I say? So, nothing has happened. You still don't know who did that scam? No, I don't know.
नहीं देखिए एक अगर फाइनेंशियल फ्रॉड हुआ आपका पैसा गया है तो वन नाइन थ्री जीरो उसमें कारगर है अदरवाइज दूसरा ऑप्शन आपके पास ये है कि साइबर क्राइम डॉट जीओ बी डॉट इन पर जाके कंप्लेन कराइए वो कह रही है लिखी और जवाब ही नहीं चीज हम लोग बीस दिन में उनको जवाब नहीं आया अभी भी अंडर प्रोसेस लिखा हुआ नहीं बिल्कुल बिल्कुल आप सही करेंगे वो एक कंप्लेट होता है उस कंप्लेट को लेकर के आप अपने पुलिस स्टेशन पे या तो साइबर क्राइम पुलिस स्टेशन हो सकता है या जिस जीरो में आप रहते हैं उस पुलिस स्टेशन पर जाइए कहिए हमारा एफ आई कायम करें एफ आई रजिस्टर होता है उसके बाद किस नहीं मैंने इसके बाद वन वन टू नोएडा पुलिस को भी बुलाया था क्योंकि सेकंड डे फिर कॉल आया था करण वर्मा का और जब मैंने उनको बुलाया तो जस्ट वो गाड़ी के साथ आ गए मैंने जब उनको बताया सर यहाँ पर कोई नहीं है फोन पर हुआ है दोबारा कॉल आया मैडम फोन मत उठाइए इससे ज्यादा क्या है ये तो आते रहते और आपके साथ तो ठगी भी नहीं हुई तो मैं और भी स्केयर हूँ की अच्छा आई थिंक वी कवर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ग्राउंड गिविन यू सर्टन थिंग यू शुड लुक एट वेरी केयरफुली very very carefully this was operation digital arrest brought to you by the india today special investigation team